You know, several years ago, I used to have a hot dog cart, and one of the things in big demand on it, as far as toppings go, was Coca-Cola onions. Oh, yes. And that's what we're going to make today. Great on hot dogs, great on hamburgers. You're going to love it. Now the first thing you're going to do is take about a half a stick of butter and put it in a pan and we're going to simmer this really slowly on low. Next you'll need an onion. You're also going to want some salt, garlic powder, and of course some Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is outstanding. This is going to smell like a state fair cooking in your kitchen. Next up, prep yourself an onion. Now guys, you generally don't want to cook an onion like this. Once you get the ends chopped off, just kind of score it like so, and then peel that out, outer layer off. You can throw this in your compost bucket. At this point, when it comes to cutting an onion, you could do it one of a couple of ways. You could come down long ways like this, turn it 90, and then do it again, and then you could cut off little chunks. You could also do the strips, or you can do it the guy way. Watch this. This is a Vidalia Chop Wizard, and it is outstanding for taking care of the garden stuff and making salsa. And what I do is I basically just take the onions, chunk them up into quarters like so. Watch this. And once you run all four quarters through, you just take that bad boy out, put it in the sink, and look what you're left with. Nice little chunks here. I'm going to let that go ahead and cook down, and I'm going to go ahead, though, in the meantime, and dump these onions in here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do while it's at this stage is I'm going to go ahead and use salt and garlic powder. How much? Well, about that much of salt. <laughs> and as far as garlic powder goes, oh, about that much. Whoops. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with butter and garlic. Now, as that butter continues to melt, we're just going to keep stirring this. That way the the onions get infused with the salt and the garlic. If you have Thai seasoning or you have access to it, a little shake of that is really good on it as well. And you could experiment with other uh, seasonings. You might try a little chili powder or what have you. But now we're just going to keep reducing this down and we're going to slow cook these onions until they go translucent. And the butter will pretty much dry up at that point. Then you know that it's sucked into the onions and we will proceed with our next step. It's been a few minutes and I've gone ahead and bumped this up to medium and it's starting to heat up real good now. We're going to get that butter sucked in. It's going to be great. In the meantime, I'm going to look and see if I can't find a video from back when I had the hot dog cart. I had a special helper that y'all might recognize. Um, not that he's a ham or anything, but check this out. <laughs> you really like those diamond dogs, don't you? <laughs> oh, we got to turn the old uh, Coca-Cola onions here. They're not quite ready for Coca-Cola yet. Oh, they're over here. Oh, my. There's a big old dog right there. Anyway, come back here and take a look at this now. Now, as we continue to cook this down on medium, We'll start to notice that the onion bits go from being white, and some of them still are. Uh, they're starting to take on that yellowish appearance. They're sucking that butter up into them, and that is a very good thing. Right now, there is just this absolutely wonderful garlicky, buttery, oniony smell in the air right now. But it's about to get even better. Once these go translucent and the pan dries, we're going to spritz it with the Coca-Cola, and then it's going to turn from the current smell to that of a state fair. Oh, <laughs> I wish we had smell-o-vision. Now we're going to cook some uh, all-beef hot dogs, which are really good. Nathan's are outstanding with this. Uh, these are ballpark Angus all-beef. And we're also going to do some cheddar brats. We're going to do them out on the grill. But let me give you a little tip. If you're going to cook indoors, you cook hot dogs, things like that, when you go to boil your water, add a beef bouillon cube to the water. First, time, first batch of hot dogs that you cook, the flavors tend to leach out into the water. If you'll put that beef bouillon cube in there and dissolve it with the hot water before you add your hot dogs, it will help retain the flavor into the hot dogs. So just a little tip there. 
Boy, I tell you, if I had three hands, it'd be outstanding. Then I could get it all done there. <laughs> now you might be thinking, well, that looks kind of translucent. Well, not quite yet. The pan is still real wet. You still want it to be a little bit, but you still have quite a bit of white pieces. I want to cook this down to where they're translucent, almost see-through. Now, if you are cooking everything out on the grill, you could also use a griddle. You know, one of those uh, big stainless steel griddles, and you could cook them out there that way, right, with your dogs. Uh, you could also use, like, an aluminum tray, like you might soak brats in out on the grill. You could cook them in that as well. It'd be just fine and dandy, and you wouldn't have to go back and forth from the house. I'm going to have Katie go out there and cook the dogs while I'm working on this. <laughs> we'll eat quicker that way. When I talk about translucence in the onions, that right there, that's what I'm talking about. See that right there? They're starting to go a little bit clear. Not quite yet, though. We've still got a little ways to go. Okay, now that it's starting to brown here, and you can start to see it browning up just a bit, we're going to go to our next phase. Alright, now that it's starting to brown up a bit, we're going to go to our next phase. I'm just going to put my finger over this bottle. <laughs> and away it went. And now I'm just going to work it in there. You might have noticed, you may have noticed how the onions were starting to get real small. Well, now they're going to start sucking that right back up and they plump back up. I have bumped the heat back up to help get it cooked down. So now I'm going to put it down on low. And I'm going to get a rack and clean up the Coca-Cola that's all over Katie's kitchen. The kitchen smells like a state fair with corn dogs and onion rings going right now. <laughs> oh boy. All right. We've got Coca-Cola onions ready to go now. Look at that, would you? Nice golden brown, that's what we're looking for. That is going to be so good. Add a little bit of chili. Next, a little bit of nacho cheese. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And then the perfect topper. Some Coca-Cola onions. Oh yeah. That is something to eat right there. Oh my goodness. Let's try it out and see how she did. Mmm. Mmm. I'll see y'all later. Boy, those flavors are just amazing. Mmm. Try the Coca-Cola onions on your hot dogs and your burgers and your brats. You won't be disappointed. Takes a little bit of time, but boy, is it worth it. Guys, it's Reagan 971. I got some eating to do. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> see you next time.